you guys have both been covering these teams all year. What do you see? Let's start off first and foremost, Steve, with you. What do you see in this in this University of Illinois team that makes you think that they have a good run in them? I think, uh, Dion, that when you look at Io DeSumo and Kofi Coburn, you're looking at the, I think, the best one-two punch in college basketball. Um, Kofi Coburn's numbers this year would have been Big Ten Player of the Year worthy had it not been for Luca Garza and Io DeSumo. I mean, his numbers were that dominant, and he's that big. And the, the guys in the Big Ten – have seen him a few times, so they know how to deal with him. But nobody else outside the Big Ten has seen him on a regular basis. And the way that uh, J- uh, Jacob Grandison is playing, DeMonte Williams, uh, uh, I almost said Frank Williams, uh, Trent <laughs> Frazier, and uh, Andre Corbello, those guys, the way that they're playing, they are the ones that give me the confidence that – the Illini can actually cut down the nets in Indianapolis. Well, Sean, I got the same. That's the same question for you, man. I yeah. mean, I know you you follow them, even though you're on the East Coast down in sunny Florida. I'm, I'm, I'm a little jealous. I know we all have an opportunity to follow them, though. But that same question for you, when you look at this team, what what gives you the confidence that they can that they can do something big this time? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, Bartle's the point guard that he is, so he led the way for us there. I'll, he. He hit up all the key players, and, and that's exactly right. He named a bunch of guys that can make plays, so that's how big that is. I'll take it from uh, the team aspect as well. He knocked out the individuals. When you get into the NCAA tournament, you better be able to win different ways. You can't just win one way all the way through the tournament, and I think we've seen this team now. You can grind it out inside. He mentioned Kofi's numbers. He talked about Io. They've got an unbelievable perimeter. You can win from the outside. They can knock down threes. We've seen this team now over the last couple of weeks, how good they are defensively. They can lock a team down if they struggle shooting the basketball. And then they're putting up 80, 90 points. So if they get to a shootout with the team, they can win that way too. So when you look at the big dance, you need to be able to win a bunch of different ways, a bunch of different styles. This Illinois team has proven that they can do that over the last couple of months. You know, and we look at it, and you always hear going back to back that your guard play is so important. Your guard play is so important. And I am, you know, I'm a big guy, played the four, you know, and some five my my time at Illinois. I still believe that I still believe that to be true and that the guards are an extremely important part of what you do. Looking at what Io DeSumo has done, we know where he is. We know what Trent Frazier is. When we look at the two freshmen, are they ready for this uh, for this level? Go ahead, Sean. You can take that. Yeah, I, I believe they are. And, and I think right now we're seeing – we saw them grow up. I'll be the first one to admit when about halfway through the season, early on, I said, thank goodness Kofi and Io came back because I don't know how good this team would be if those two guys weren't on there. They might have struggled to get to an NCAA tournament. So – the rest of the team started to mature as the season went on. And then Io goes out and you saw what they did. They won three games. And I started thinking, obviously this is good for the NCA in the near future, but I feel good about their future moving forward. Now you've got two guys that you can kind of pass that torch off to and, and Curbelo made plays. I mean, he has a couple of shots there against Ohio state uh, that, you know, they don't win that game without him. And, and obviously we're talking guards right now. How about Georgie, right? He has a little three, four-minute stretch there. They don't win that game without him. So you saw the supporting cast come up. But you mentioned the freshman, and I saw something in Curbelo in that Ohio State game that, you know, he's not afraid to take big shots, and he's not afraid to make big plays. Uh, And that's encouraging to see a freshman step up like that in the Big Ten tournament in the atmosphere. Yeah, I think also I I concur with what Sean's saying. I also think that Ace Miller uh, is – you know, he's kind of being overshadowed a little bit uh, by Trent Frazier and DeMonte Williams, in my opinion, but he's definitely capable. I mean, when I called the game Illinois at Minnesota and uh, when they started getting out in the fast break situation, Adam Miller got out on the break as well as anybody mm-hmm. and, and, and can finish. And we know his three-point shooting prowess. And But the, the biggest area where he has improved is on the defensive end. Yeah, He's become a very good perimeter defender. And you guys know 
you can't get on the floor as a freshman if you can't defend. And so these guys have really matured throughout the year. They've gotten better in some critical areas. And so I think the tournament, the good thing, Dion, is that they've got vets that they can lean on. If they get in a situation that's unfamiliar, they can look to Trent. They can look to DeMonte. They can look to Io, uh, and even Georgie and, you know, find some support. And I, I think the, the freshmen are capable because they have upperclassmen that they can look to when if, if they feel uncertain or they're in a situation that they haven't been in, more than likely Io, Trent Frazier, or DeMonte have. And so they have people that they can lean on and, and confine in if things get tough and they find themselves in an unfamiliar situation.